Hi, I'm Roxanne Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on January 7th, 2021. So what a wonderful day it has been today again. The Lord gives us wonderful days and just to love him and to serve him and receive blessings that he has for us. And we can share those blessings that the Lord gives to us with others around us. And that's what we're supposed to do with our blessings that the Lord gives to us is to share them with others. Because the more blessings the Lord gives us, the more blessings we have to give to others. So that's how God's blessings work for us. So when we share God's blessings, he gives us more blessings that we can share more and more and more. Just like the love that the Lord has for us. When he gives his love to us, we're supposed to share that love and spread that love to all the people around us. So isn't that wonderful to know? that God loves us so very, very much and he wants us to love others and continue to receive his love. So wonderful, um, wonderful way to interact with others and to feel God's love and to share that with other people around us. So today our story is about Samuel. So we're gonna learn about Samuel and God calls on Samuel and has a message for him. And God calls us and has a message for us too. So we have to have our ears and our eyes and our hearts open to the Lord to hear what he wants to share with us. So we're going to learn about Samuel today. And yesterday we talked about Hannah and Hannah was Samuel's mother. Remember Hannah wasn't able to have any children for many, many years. And she cried out to the Lord and the Lord answered her prayers. And she had a baby boy and named him Samuel. So this is that Samuel, Hannah's baby boy, Samuel. And Hannah told the Lord that if she gave him a baby, that she was going to give that baby back to him. So that's what Hannah did. Hannah had to fulfill her promise to the Lord. And the Lord always fulfills his promises. He is always faithful to us. So we have to be faithful to the Lord he is faithful to us. So we'll say our prayer and sing a couple of songs and get into our story for today. So Father in heaven, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your wonderful, great love that you have for all your people. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Father God, that you speak to us. You speak to our hearts, Father God, and help us to open our eyes and ears and hearts to you so we can hear what you're saying. Thank you, Father God, for just flooding us with your mercy and your grace and your blessings and help us to share those blessings with all those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. So the first story for song that we will sing today is give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And we thank the Lord. And remember, we talk about thanking the Lord when we wake up in the morning, when we first get out of bed, before we even touch our tippy toes to the floor, to thank the Lord for the many blessings that he gives us. Thank you that we, when we wake up in the morning that we have breath, we have air to breathe. We can breathe when we wake up and we, we open our eyes and we can see and we can hear the Lord and we have wonderful blankets, warm blankets that we've been sleeping in all night. And maybe we had a good night's sleep. We slept so well and nice and comfortable. And if we didn't, then guess what? We can pray and ask God to help us sleep better the next time that we go to bed, can't we? So there's many, many, many things that we can thank the Lord for. And we have to remember to do that, to thank and praise God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks, give thanks. And we give thanks and we praise our Lord Jesus Christ for all that he has given us. And Jesus, what did Jesus give us? He rescued us from the sins of the world, didn't he? So that when we are done on this earth, we can go and live with him forever and ever and ever in heaven. He took away our sins. He took them away and threw them into the deepest pit and they are gone forever. He doesn't remember. God doesn't remember our sins, the bad things that we do at all. He's a forgiving father. And Jesus, 
was the one that came to earth and he took our sins and bore our sins on the cross. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And that's found in Joshua 24, 15. That is a Bible verse as long as well as a song. Somebody turned it into a song. So Joshua 24, 15 is, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So we'll sing it one more time. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And the last song that we will sing is, I took Jesus as my Savior. You take him too. Have you taken the Lord as your Savior? We've already talked about Jesus when he came to earth to bear our sickness, to bear our sins, to bear our diseases. Jesus took them all so that we could have life eternally. He wants us to live life, the abundant life that he has for us. And we are free from every sickness, every disease. We are free. He came as our savior to save us, save us from this earth, save us from this world, save us from our sins that we could go and live eternally with him in heaven. So I took Jesus as my savior because I wanna live eternally with Jesus in heaven. Have you made that choice yet? to follow Jesus, and if you haven't, you can just invite him into your heart, invite him into your life, and say, Jesus, I confess my sins, I repent of my sins, and I want you to come in to my heart, to my life, and take over. I wanna follow you and serve you, and just love you, and receive your love, so that I can go and live eternally with you in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. So we'll sing, I took Jesus as my savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my savior, you take him too. Way beyond the blue. I took Jesus as my savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too, way beyond the blue. And if you haven't taken him as your Savior, I would encourage you not to wait another moment. Take Jesus into your heart and into your life, and you will know his love forever and eternity. In Jesus' name, yes, you will. Jesus loves his people so very, very much. So we'll get into our story today. We are in the Bible stories treasuries. And yesterday we talked about Hannah. Hannah is Samuel's mother. And this is Samuel and he's a young boy. And when he was a very, very young, young boy, just after Hannah weaned him, she promised the Lord that when that uh, she was going to give her son back to him and so that he could be raised and learn all about God and be a servant of the Lord's. So she fulfilled her promise. She brought him back to the temple and gave him to Eli. And Eli raised the priest, raised Samuel so that he would know everything about God that, that he could know. So Hannah kept her promise to God, she took Samuel to live with Eli in the temple. Eli was the priest, so she brought him to God's house, the temple, and she had Eli raise him so that he would know all about God. One night, Samuel heard a voice. He was sleeping, he was fast asleep, and this voice said, Samuel, Samuel. So Samuel ran to Eli, because he thought Eli was calling him. Eli says, I didn't call you. Go back to bed, Samuel. So Samuel went back to bed and he laid down and was going back to sleep. And this voice said, Samuel, 
Samuel. So he got up and he ran to Eli again and he said, Eli, what do you want? You were calling me. Eli says, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. And Eli didn't realize that God at that time was calling out to Eli. So one more time, Samuel lay down and we went to sleep and there's this voice that called out, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up again and ran back to Eli and says, what do you want, Eli? I heard you calling me again. And Eli said, you know what? That's not me. That's the voice of God. God is talking to you, Samuel. So go and lay down. And when God calls your name again, when you hear him calling Samuel, Samuel, you say, here I am, Lord. So three times Samuel heard the voice and three times he ran to Eli and asked him what what he wanted. So he must have been pretty faithful to Eli, wasn't he? Because he got up as soon as he heard his name called, he got up and went to Samuel, went to Eli and asked him what he wanted. Eli said, it's, God, it's God's voice. Next time he calls, say, I'm listening, God. And that's what God wants us to do when God speaks to us. He speaks to us in a very still, a quiet voice. And sometimes that voice, we just hear it inside of us because the Holy Spirit, God lives inside of us. So we don't always hear God with our ears. Sometimes it's just an inside hearing that we just know that God is speaking to us in our in our spirit, through our spirit, and then we know that when God asks us to do something, that we need to do it right away, because that is called faith. When God speaks to us, we move by faith. We said, we know that God told us to do this. God called again, and Samuel listened to God's message, said, I am here, Lord. I will listen to you. So that's how we're supposed to listen to God, just like Samuel, when we hear God's voice, and we also hear God's voice when we are reading his word. We follow his word because those are inspired. God inspired words is the, what the whole Bible is written on his words that he spoke to his people and they wrote them down. So we knew how to, so we know how to treat others. We, so we know the Ten Commandments and so we know the love of God for us so that we know that Jesus died on the cross for us. Those are all stories. The Bible is a true written word of God. It's the written word of God. It's the love of God that he shares with his people. So we have to open our ears, open our hearts, open our spirits, open our eyes, and read God's word so that we can get closer to the Lord so we can hear him more clearly. And the more that we know God's word, the more that we know God's Bible, the more that we hear it, the more that we read it, the more we understand it, and the easier it is for us to hear the voice of God when he speaks to us through his Holy Spirit. And this is, how did Eli help Samuel? How did Eli help Samuel? He helped him to be responsible, didn't he? And he helped him to learn how to listen to God's voice. And he knew, so Eli knew, because he had been, he, he talks to God and he listens to God. So he knew that God was speaking to him so he told him to just be quiet and to listen to God and to just be ready to do what God asks him to do. So that's how Eli helped Samuel. He told him, go back and just listen because that's God's voice. So he recognized, he just didn't say, you're listening to something. You're, you don't know what you're listening to. Just go to sleep and forget about that voice. Eli would have got himself in big, bad trouble. But he knew it was the Lord's voice and he said, just go and listen to the Lord and say, here I am, Lord, I'm here listening to you. Dear God, help me to listen when you speak to me in Jesus' name. So we ask the Lord, Lord, help us to hear you. Help us to see when you are moving in our lives and those around us, and just help us to follow you and to serve you. So how did you like that story about Samuel? I think that it was so good of Eli to recognize that it was God's voice and he just didn't take that voice and just uh, think it was just a dream that Samuel was having or just think he was hearing things, but he actually knew it was God speaking to Samuel. So I hope you enjoyed this, these stories that we continue to learn about God 
and his people. And please share and subscribe. Share with your brothers and sisters and cousins and your friends and family members. And have a wonderful rest of your day. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. Thank you so much for listening.